morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, all. Thank you. Thank you. If there is one thing certain about an event like this, it is that Paul Wilson can get the crowd quiet. So, Paul, thank, thank you very much, sir. Today is an exciting day for the dental hygiene program and Tennessee Wesleyan University. It is my honor to welcome you to the Dr. Marty and Linda Harris Wilhelm Dental Hygiene Program dedication. Before we begin, let me start with a few thank yous of those that are here today. There's a number of community leaders here, and a special, a special thank you to those from the dental community. I think that is super special to have you all here. We have several alums. It is an exciting homecoming weekend, so this worked out really well to have this at the same time. We have a, a few trustees and president's cabinet members here as well. Thank you all for being here. And our wonderful dental hygiene faculty and staff, uh, led by Dr. Randa Colbert and Dr. Lisa Vesser, thank you all so much for all you do. And most of all, and undoubtedly the most important folks in this room, are students. Thank you all for being here and thank you for being at TWU. I told them just a second ago, there are most important people here and we're sitting them on the floor. <laughs> uh, but uh, uh, Dr. Colbert told me, that's right. Dr. Colbert told me sometimes they preferred to sit on the floor, so, so there we go. Uh, un, upon the unfortunate closure of Hiawassee College in 2019, through the generous support of several foundations, as well as the leadership of the TWU board, uh, former president Dr. Harley Knowles and others, the dental hygiene program was transferred to TWU and opened in this premier space. Fast forward to today, the program has flourished, and I think that may be an understatement. Uh, it quickly became one of TWU's most popular academic programs, it's attracted both outstanding faculty and staff, and it's also been a wonderful community outreach example for this university and many others as well. It touches the community in a unique way by providing a dental and oral health to, to oftentimes folks that want to just come in and try it out or may not have access to a dentist otherwise, and it is certainly flourished with the number of students in it as well. Dr. Marty and Linda Wilhelm have been phenomenal friends of this institution for many years. Earlier this year, Blake McCaslin and I had the opportunity to visit with Marty and Linda at their home in Marco Island, Florida. During our visit, Marty shared with Blake and me that he would like for us to consider how he and Linda could invest in this campus to make it even better. So after several additional discussions with Marty and Blake and I and, and, and a number of other folks, the Wilhelm Dental Hygiene Program came out of that. Marty made it clear, though, that the naming was not about him. It was about the students and ensuring the program is able to continue serving the McMinn County community and beyond for many years to come. Marty, like so many of the individuals in this room, believe that the success of Athens and McMinn County is often tied to the success of Tennessee Wesleyan. So he felt it very important to invest in that way. Regrettably, Marty and Linda are not able to be with us today. However, they shared a few words that I wanted to read to you all. We wish we could be back in McMinn County to visit and see all of you. It is exciting to hear of the progress and growth of the community. We are especially pleased of the increasingly important role Tennessee Wesleyan University is playing. The Board of Trustees has brought strong leadership to Wesleyan. Their guidance and innovative ideas continue to produce what will be a lasting impact for the students and the region as a whole. New programs of study, 
renovations and the addition of new facilities as well as a continuing commitment to academic excellence position TWU for a bright future. Education is the greatest equalizer in our society. It is a door of opportunity for all who walk through. On the other side is economic success and the continuation of the values that will guide your life. We are honored to help in any way that makes the opportunity a little less difficult to obtain for the children of the place we will always consider home. Linda and Marty Wilhelm. Without question, they are missed not being here, but we are recording the entire event and we'll certainly send it to them in the very near future. And although they're not with us, we do have some special guests. Some former colleagues of theirs are with us today. So I wanted to welcome five ladies that worked with Marty and Linda for many years. And, and do, I'll call your name and, and we'll certainly recognize you all appropriately, uh, Glenda Green, Becky Cole, Janice Williams, Leanne Shadden, and Jamie Breedwell. It's great to have you all here. Thank you all. So through a very generous $1 million pledge from Marty and Linda, not only are we able to name this program, but we're also able to invest further in it. Approximately one-fourth of the funds will be used to renovate and expand this space, and the remainder will be put into a permanent endowment to provide program expansion dollars, additional operating dollars, and ultimately ensure that the oral health of McMinn County is greater because of their gift. The generous gift is also, in addition to, a significant commitment Marty and Linda have already made to endow a scholarship fund for students from McMinn County as well. So they have been incredibly generous to the campus. It's now my honor to read the words of the plaque that will be hung in the lobby, I believe, is that correct? Uh, it, it, you saw it when you came in and it will permanently be hung there and it says, the Wilhelm Dental Hygiene Program was established through the generous support of Dr. Martin and Linda Harris Wilhelm. In 1982, the Wilhelms established a general, a general dentistry practice that was an integral part of the Athens community for over 30 years. The Wilhelms feel that education is the door to opportunity, and their generous support of the dental hygiene program at Tennessee Wesleyan is intended to provide this opportunity to future generations of students. So with that, I will turn it over to Dr. Grant Wilhite, who's, who's going to offer a few words around the academic connection of this program to our institution. Dr. Wilhite. Thank you. There, there are a few people in this room who remember uh, the heart-wrenching day uh, when our sister Methodist institution, Hiawassee College, announced that they would be closing. And um, a number of us spent uh, time with students uh, just a few days later, really trying to decide, you know, how can we best help and how can we best serve? Uh, one of the first outreach points we received was from Dr. Randa Colbert. And she reached out and said, we need a home and we have a great program. What was immediately apparent to those of us at Tennessee Wesleyan was that the program that had been established at Hiawassee fit very well with the type of educational experience that we want to provide for students at Tennessee Wesleyan University. Um, it, it, if we were able to acquire this program, it would fall right in line with other allied health programs that seek within the general framework of the liberal arts to prepare students for a career, and a career not only where uh, they could um, be assured a, a good paycheck for doing the work, but also a career where they were uh, really doing good work for the community. Uh, and so 
Since that was apparent, we've made every effort to bring the program here. And as Dr. Forrest indicated, this program has, since coming to Tennessee Wesleyan, uh, has flourished. And we are uh, incredibly proud of that. Um, this program, like our, our nursing program uh, in Knoxville, um, seeks to not only prepare professionals uh, for the workforce, but to prepare pro professionals who come at their job from the perspective of a servant leader. Um, and, and also who come at their job with an with a understanding that faith is an important part of what we do. And so um, I, we're extremely proud to host this program at Tennessee Wesleyan University. And I couldn't be more thrilled to have the gift of the Wilhelms to help sustain this program in the long term, to help us continue uh, to achieve the types of educational goals that we have for this program. Uh, and so I just, uh, I feel like the future is bright uh, and uh, I, I feel like for, for many years to come, the dental hygiene program at Tennessee Wesleyan University will be one of our signature academic programs. Thank you. Good morning. I'm Dr. Randa Colbert, uh, the program director here at Tennessee Wesleyan, now Wilhelm Dental Hygiene Program. Um, and I would like to introduce Dana Wilson. She is our senior class president and she's going to say a few words. Good morning. Today we are here to express our gratitude for Dr. Wilhelm and his wife. His donation to our recent his recent donation to our dental hygiene clinic has left an indelible mark on our program, our academics, and our community. This speech aims to shed light on the significant impact his donation in these areas, which ultimately led to the renaming of our program, as you've heard, the Wilhelm Dental Hygiene Program. So first, I would like to talk about how it affects the academics. As a part of this academic community, um, I know how hard it is with all of the money issues we have sometimes, a lot of equipment that we need, and this donation will allow us to update our equipment, expand. As you can see, we only have the one classroom, and we need a little bit more room to grow. And then our community within McMinn County, I'm going to find out. We will have newfound resources at our disposal. It will be easier for us to reach out to the community and we see in the clinic every day patients who have a real need and we will be more prepared and more able to treat them. So in recognition we have renamed the dental hygiene clinic as Wilhelm Dental Hygiene Clinic and it serves as a testament to their unwavering commitment to improve oral health and it has helped our clinic, our academics, and our community. We extend our deepest gratitude to him for his generosity and unwavering support. The impact of his donation will resonate for generations to come. To celebrate his legacy and to thrive, to uphold the values he believes in. Thank you. Thank you, Dana. It is now my honor to introduce uh, really the person that needs no introduction in the room, uh, Mr. John Gentry. Uh, he, he told me as I came in we obviously couldn't find anybody else since we asked him. But, but for those of you all that don't know, John serves as our county mayor and he is a great friend to this campus. John, thank you for being here. I can't stand behind the monitor, I'm not tall enough. Uh, you don't have to be down here. Um, first of all, thank you, Tennessee Wesleyan University, for seeing the opportunity of what was going on with Hiawassee. I have a special connection with Hiawassee because my mother <clears throat> went to a small Methodist church in Brooklyn, New York, and her, her pastor was from Tennessee. And she was one of 12 children born in Puerto Rico. And the, and the pastor saw potential in her said, you need to go to a small school, and he had some ties to Hiawassee. And so she, she makes that trip to, from Brooklyn, New York, to Madisonville, Tennessee in the 60s, early 60s. Bit of, bit of a culture shock there. Uh, but anyway, at the same time, 
this is not what we're here about. Hello, Dr. Wilhelm. I, I'll get to you in a minute. Uh, you know, parents first. And uh, so at the same time, there's a West Side Story. The musical is out. And my dad, growing up in Etobal, Tennessee, think, boy, it'd be neat to meet a Puerto Rican girl. There weren't very many Puerto Rican girls. But someone, his sister, is going to, uh, to Hawass and says, there's a Puerto Rican girl from New York in Madisonville. Let me introduce you. I'm so glad they did. <laughs> so, uh, so anyway, long story short, and uh, we're here today. So, uh, but my grandmother graduated from Tennessee Wesleyan College with a degree and taught for 40 years and got her degree from Tennessee Wesleyan. And so I feel like I, I owe a lot to both of these institutions. Dr. Wilhelm, Marty, we call him Marty. Linda, we miss you. And why do we miss you? I wish these students had the opportunity to meet you. They would even wear it with more pride being part of this program. I talked to a good friend of his, Dr. Chuck Biffins. I said, what would you maybe want to say? He said, you know, absolutely clinically, probably one of the finest <laughs> dentists in the region that we have. But more than that, he was just a great, and is a great man. His staff, very little turnover. I know when uh, my brother moved up from South Florida, had to find a dentist, it was, everybody said, you got, if you can, you gotta get into Dr. Wilhelm. And he took care of my brother. It's just a wonderful family. I was talking to Dr. Biv and said, tell me some more stories. I mean, I know Marty from working with him through the, he was a farmer, a lot of people didn't know he also farmed. And so we worked with him in that aspect of county government. He said, John, he understood there are two great fears in life. One's public speaking. They ain't a great job. You had to conquer that this morning. Great job. What's the second great fear? <laughs> dentist. <laughs> Going to the dentist. You know, there's something about a stranger with sharp instruments being in your mouth. And so he knew he had to do something for that. He knew there was a need for better oral hygiene in McMinn County. He said, I've got to make the kids from an early age understand we're not to be feared. So he would go into the local schools and he would take the gas mask and he would do all these things to say, we're not going to feel pain. And he would volunteer his time in the local schools to let kids know we're here to help you. And guess what? If you have good dental health, it affects the rest of your body. My parents thought they were getting aged a little bit and had some heart conditions. And guess what the, on the questionnaire? Oral health. How does that affect your heart and cancers? You are not only in a profession that monetarily is going to reward you, but at the end of each day, you're helping people with the rest of their life. And so thank you for choosing this profession. Thank you for choosing Tennessee Wesleyan University. You could have chosen other institutions. You chose the best one, and we thank you. And we hope to pray you stay in McMinn County and, and, and actually practice your talents. Dr. Wilhelm, we miss you. Linda, we miss you. They were community builders. Neth nothing negative ever came out of their mouth about their community. If they saw a problem, they immediately said, how do we help solve that problem? And that's the legacy that you're going to be wearing on your shirt. Another name we didn't mention, this is Miller Hall. I grew up with Mitch Miller from second grade all the way through. You're in a building and a program that bears the name of two wonderful families. It's a great burden that now you all have to carry forward. As you graduate from this institution, you're going to count carry Tennessee Wesleyan University's name, you're going to carry the Miller family and the Wilhelm family. Your family name goes with it, but you're also in an institution that believes in faith and ultimately you have purpose in your life and you've chosen a profession that serves others and we're so thankful. McMinn County is so thankful. I'm honored to be mayor of a community that had families like the Wilhelms and institutions like Tennessee Wesleyan University. Go out today encouraged that you have purpose and you have chosen a profession that's going to help change people's lives and save people's lives. Mm -hmm. You will make life better, and we thank you that you're doing it here. Tennessee Wesleyan, thank you for doing this for us. We need you. Thank you. Thank you so much for your, your words. I, I don't even know how to follow this up, really. 
Um, thankful is the word that I can think of to describe um, how I feel looking at this room um, of all the supporters of Tennessee Wesleyan, of our dental hygiene program. Um, I, I'm struggling to find words to say how thankful and grateful I am to all of you. Um, if I started naming people, I see so many of our advocates and supporters um, in the audience that if I started naming, I know that I would leave someone out. But I want to just close us today, number one, by saying thank you to the students. You guys, I can't see all of you. There you are. <laughs> um, we can't operate without our students. And I would love for all of you to know that our students are exceptional. They, they truly are. They work so hard. Um, just like Mr. Gentry said, we, they serve the public. That's part of the beauty of dental hygiene is, yes, it is a career where you can um, make money and support your family and do all the things you want to do, but it is a career where you serve others. And that's at the heart of all of our students is the service to um, their fellow humans. And I love that. I love that about the hearts of the students and the hearts of our faculty. I can't say enough about our faculty. Um, it is a, a stellar crowd over here and <laughs> throughout the, the building. I, they, we cannot operate without our faculty's input, their dedication, their commitment, their commitment to the students, the time they invest. Um, it, it is incredible and I'm I'm blessed to be able to uh, to work among all the all the people that um, are here in this building on a daily basis. So to wrap up, I would like to say personally, I don't have the pleasure of knowing Dr. and Mrs. Wilhelm just yet, but I would like to say thank you so much for investing into our program so that we can invest into the community. Um, that's what we're here to do. And so thank you, thank you for um, all of you for being here today. And after we close with a prayer, I would love if you mill around and look at our clinic, look at our facility. Um, in the lab right behind this room, I've set up our new mobile equipment, which is an outstanding way that our students are gonna be able to go into the community and not be limited by um, facility or by equipment because it packs up in nice little um, bags and it is completely mobile and so you, there's an example of our mobile chair and our mobile um, delivery system in the lab if you'll stop by and look at that again thank you all for being here and let me close this in prayer please father thank you thank you is the only word that I can uh, think of at this moment thank you for all the advocates and the supporters that uh, you have placed in our path. Thank you for the generous and gracious donation of Dr. and Mrs. Wilhelm. Um, thank you for helping our program to flourish at Tennessee Wesleyan. Lord, may this place be um, a place of, of knowledge, of wisdom, of service, um, help us to be a good steward of all the resources that you've given us. Um, thank you for the people that you've placed here, the faculty, the students, the administration. Thank you for the part that they play in the success of Tennessee Wesleyan and our program. The supporters, um, the donors, Lord, thank you for, um, for blessing them so that they can bless others. Um, their support uh, makes our program and our university uh, the success that it is today. We just dedicate this building, this Wilhelm Dental Hygiene Program to you and ask that you do with it uh, what you will, which so far you have, um, you have blessed us abundantly. And Lord, again, help us be st good stewards of what you have given. We love you, we praise you, and most of all, we thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Thank you all. Thank you. Linda and Marty, it's your friend Paul Wilson. I'm coming to Marco Island next year. I'll sleep in your driveway. Thank you for doing this. Love you guys.
one more reminder. Any, anyone that would like to join us for lunch in celebration of the program is welcome to do so in the new dining hall in the Sherman boardroom. Thank you, Tracy. <laughs>